Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to look at a new tool to manage some more of the aspects of flat packs in a GUI. Now, we've talked in the past about a pa package called Flat Seal, which I actually don't have installed on this. Um, I wish I did, but uh, well, we did a previous video on that. You can go ahead and see that one down below. Flat Seal does a good job of managing permissions and other settings inside of a flat pack. Of course, what I didn't know and I found in my research today is if you're using a GNOME based system, the settings tab for the applications, you can manage a lot of that stuff as well. But today we are looking at the application called Warehouse. What Warehouse does is it manages some more of the behind the scenes things on flat packs, giving us effectively not like a store, but a management tool for flat packs. I don't know if we can search for something in here. Let's do a brief search for LibreOffice. I don't know if we can or not. So I think that this will just give us information about the flat packs that we have on our system. But what it does do is it allows us to do things like in the GUI, manage other settings, permissions, old flat packs you've deleted, and repositories, which does make it a very useful function. So of course, if we want to just click over this, you can uninstall each individual flat pack that you have. And you can see information regarding the flat packs over here, including a link to the user folder. So if you want to get into your user folder for something, you can very quickly link it. The other thing that this does is it allows you to easily push this button here, which is going to scrub all of the user data from the system, meaning that the flat pack will restore to a first install state. So if something got messed up in your settings or something else, you can delete this. Everything related to the flat pack is going to disappear. And then when you run that flat pack next, it's going to be like you ran it the very first time. And then here we can see what the exact app is, the version, what branch it came from, and all of the various options that we have. Here's your various options. Again, you can't manage any of the individual permissions. So this actually gives you gives us a nice little tool to, to see some things. But there's more to it, and that's what we really want to cover. We do have the option to install from a file. So you can download a Flatpak or a Flatpak reference file. And if you do that, you can go ahead and just go ahead and click on the flat pack and then you have the option to install it as just a user or as a system wide app. So that's fun. And then we also have a manage leftover data. This is for flat packs that you may have installed, done something with, and then deleted. The problem is removing a flat pack does not immediately remove all of the data left behind. And so now we have an option here to remove that. So you can see we used to have this particular application. I believe this was one of the flashcard programs that I was originally looking at. It tended to not be as good or easy to use. And so it still has 3.6 megabytes set up. So I can go ahead and I can uh, open the folder with that or I can trash the information dealing with that. So there is now no leftover data from any uninstalled flat packs left on my system. That's very nice. And then the next thing it can do is it can manage remotes. So of course, FlatHub is the default remote that most people will have. I also have the FlatHub beta installed here for GIMP because the GIMP version, the, the GIMP application, you can see the current beta utilizing the Flatpak beta to install it. And so I wanted to go ahead and see what that looks like. So I added that repository. I can remove either of these repositories here, in which case those applications will no longer be available. But I can also come down here and I can do some extra remote ads. So the first thing is here is under remotes is we actually have a lot of your more common your more common uh, flat pack repositories available. So if you install flat pack and you don't want to deal with the command line to add repositories, you can add them here. Now this is a list of the most common ones. So this is the app center from elementary. We have the beta flat hub. We have the flat packs, uh, all the flat packs packaged by Fedora. You can go ahead and install this again for the user or for the system. 
We have the GNOME Nightly, the KDE testing applications, and we have WebKit Developer SDK. We can also add a repository file. If we've downloaded a repo file somewhere, we can go ahead and install that, or you can add a custom remote. So I went over here and just found some custom remotes to say, okay, what is down here as an option? Well, uh, maybe I want to do the GNOME stable Flatpak repository. So we can copy this guy here in GNOME stable. Now I did notice that this does not allow you to add with a space. So if you put a space in there, it'll give you the inability to add it. But now you can add this either as a system or as the user. And now click the button. Oh, it could not add GNOME stable. Uh, okay. See, I should always do things with what I tested with it. I actually did my original test with this. Or maybe I grabbed more stuff. Maybe I actually grabbed a little bit further. I don't know. Let's try the KDE one instead. I actually did the test with KDE. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> and it did work. So hopefully it works for me this time because it worked the last time. There you go. There's something wrong with the GNOME stable. Oh, you know what? Actually, somebody had mentioned down here in the comments, GNOME stable command doesn't work. Link seems dead. I should have known that. Duh. But now we have KDE testing applications over here as well. So if you want to get abreast of what KDE is doing in the testing world, you can do that. Of course, you can delete any repository here as well. So inside of this application, it does give us some extra tools that we have. We can see the individual flat packs. We can delete their individual data. We can uninstall them. We can also install flat packs from a file. So if you do not have a software manager that supports flat packs, you can use this to run your flat pack management as far as installing things from the, the reference files and whatever else. You can remove your leftover data and you can add and remove your various repositories from a very nice GUI over here. So overall, that is a very nice application. Again, this is called Warehouse and it is available on Flathub. So you'll have to at least get Flatpak and Flathub set up and then install Warehouse. And then once you do that, you will now have the ability to manage all of these different flat packs. So we are see, starting to see some really nice tools here to make the management of these uh, application software packages a little bit better. It would be nice if we'd have one application like Flat Seal that could do all of the individual app permissions and all of this cool repository stuff as well. But this is a really good start to get us this, this management side of things. And you can use your Flat Seal for all of your uh, permission side of things. And again, I'll link that flat seal video down below. So that is our brief look at the warehouse application available on Flathub. Thank you for watching and we will see you all next time. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.